guys. So, oh my god. What to think of this company? What to think of this company? I have no idea. Ugh, I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. So, you know, don't expect a 15 minute video. Expect hopefully 10 or less. But anywho, I uh, started off, you had the authority come out there. Later, John Cena did. The authority thanked John Cena for bringing him back. Cena apologized for bringing them back, saying it was more important to him uh, saving his friend, Edge, than, you know, just, you know, prolonging the authority coming back, basically. And the authority made a few matches. Uh, God, this was like a 15, 20 minute promo as usual on Raw. Um, God, uh, made some few matches. Uh, he made Seth Rollins versus right back, uh, Big Show vs. Roman Reigns. Uh, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, of course, having the Ambrose match. And he also made an Intercontinental Championship match between Dolph Ziggler versus Bad News Barrett. And, uh, yeah, the match itself between Bad News Barrett and Dolph Ziggler is pretty good. Not a bad match. Ziggler wins. Uh, and then, you know, the Kane comes out and says that uh, the two out of three falls match, apparently. So. Barrett lost the first fall. Barrett wins the second fall, and then wins the third fall to become the new Intercontinental Champion. Now, a lot of people on Twitter I know were upset, saying, oh, why does he lose the championship? He just won it back about a month ago at TLC. I understand, but um, the Royal Rumble is less than three weeks away. So, him losing, basically, the, the Intercontinental Championship basically boosts his chances of winning at the Rumble, despite what happens at the end of the night. <coughs> So, moving on, uh, we have, uh, by the way, this is the fifth time Ben was buried, has been in your conference champion, so, just throwing it out there. Uh, apparently we're going to have Cena Appreciation Night. Yay! We'll get to that later. Uh, then you have the Ascension, facing two local wrestlers. Yay, because I care about the Illuminati Road Warriors 2.0. Oh wait, I don't. Because, God forbid, by the way... This crowd in Corpus Christi n never have another live show there, meaning Raw or pay-per-view. This crowd, this crowd was dead. Better than the freaking WCW and ECW. Uh -oh. Okay, um, so then you had, oh God. Versus the Big Show. And oh dear God. How many times about to see this crap? Yeah, Reigns wins by disqualification because the Big Show grabbed the steel chips and used it. And then Roman Reigns cut out this horny ass promo. Oh my god. Robotic motherfucking Reigns. WWE, if you really want this guy to be your face is coming. By the way, I'm glad that they have the new intro and in pyro for Raw. And you notice at the end of it, it's not John Cena, it's Roman Reigns. If you really want this guy to be the face of your company, God forbid. Don't have him talk. If you're going to have him talk, say him like four words. Believe that or that's it. You know, or something along those lines. Literally. Do not have this man talk. Oh, God. It's worse than freaking Cena, I swear to God. Okay. Um. So then we move on to uh, the Divas Champion, Big T, one more Bella, versus Natalia. And didn't we see this match last week? Yeah, we did. But apparently now, since Paige is on Total Davas, um, a crumpet. I love me some crumpet. I do like her. Um, you know, her accompanying Natalia at ringside it distracted Nikki during this match and Bree. Said uh, Natalia beats Nikki Bella. So I guess now we might have a triple threat match at the Rumble for the Divas title. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention speaking of triple threat. The Authority made the main event at the Royal Rumble, or the quote-unquote main event, even though we all know the Royal Rumble match is probably going to be the main event. At least I hope so. Um, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> and the long lost X-Men, Seth Rollins, being going for the world title. To me, this is good. And I know people are like, oh, wait a minute. This is not good. Why is Seth Rollins in there? He's a money in the bank briefcase holder. Why is he having a title shot? Guys, remember when Edge was a Money in the Bank briefcase holder and he still got world title shots without cashing in his briefcase? 
Yeah, so do I. And, you know, at least it's different. We don't have to see Brock versus Cena for the, what, the fourth time since Brock came back several years ago. Like, yeah, let's, let's just avoid that. Thank you. And it makes sense. You know, Rollins got involved at the Night of Champions pay-per-view the last time Brock had a match. Who got involved? Seth Rollins. It actually makes sense, guys, once you think about it. Despite how bad the show was and how confusing it was, this part actually made sense. So, you had Eric Rowan versus Luke Harper. Um, I'm still not happy with the fact these two, that they broke these two up. Uh, to me, I think that was a good tag team. Uh, but Luke Harper wins. Yeah, obviously, Luke Harper's the better one of these two because Eric Rowan's got a... Uh. By the way, anybody else knows Booker T was on commentary due to uh, Jerry King Law having health issues. But uh, it was good to see, you know, Mr. Five Time. Five time, fade five, what the hell? Shucky ducky quack quack on commentary. They should put Booker T on commentary more, just saying. Uh, Leeds makes it a bit more interesting. Alright, so then we had the ambulance match between uh, Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. And uh, good ambulance match by far match the night, very entertaining. Uh, but let me guys ask you something. I know they're supposed to turn to Bill Bray Wyatt to possibly face Taker for no goddamn reason at WrestleMania. But, um,. Is Ambrose ever going to win a match? You know, on pay-per-view, on Raw, basically any live show. It doesn't seem like it. And you guys know me, I'm not the big, I'm more of a Rollins guy than, you know, the Joker's non-lost son. You know, I'm more for the long-lost X-Men more than Joker's non-lost son. But you give this guy the freaking, what, feud of the year? Basically, with him and Rollins? He has all the steam, all the hype and everything, and... This is how you treat him. Getting killed by Bray Wyatt in every goddamn way possible. Uh, I guess it's better than Cena doing it himself. Okay. I can't believe I said that. Okay, so next we have the random mixed tag team match between uh, Naomi and the Ustos versus Alicia Fox, Damian Sandow, and The Miz. Uh, okay, mixed gender match, I guess. Um... Miz Dow, Foxy, and The Miz win after The Miz uh, rolls up Jimmy Uso with the tights. Yeah. So then we have Ryback versus Seth Rollins, the big guy. And before I get into this, where the hell was Russo? Russo? Where was Russo? You know, the guy that's supposed to be feuding with Ryback for the United States Championship? Just saying. Okay, and Kane comes up before the match and says that the match is now a handicap match. Ryan Black has a shell shock on Kane at the end of the match. Rollins says the Curbs do not one, two, three. Kane and Rollins get them a victory. Okay. The Adam Rose versus Big E match was pretty much dead, uh, just like this crowd. Uh, but then the masked men came out that were revealed to be one Tyson Kidd and one Cesaro attacking uh, New Day. So. Yeah, hey, can't wait to see that freaking pre-show match at the Rumble. And last but not least, the John Cena Appreciation Night segment to open, end the show. Oh, Lord have mercy on my soul. And all our souls, really. Oh, my God. This was bad. Good. Duh. And the Queen of Queens. Uh, come to the ring. Invite John Cena over. Cena comes up saying, this is John Cena Appreciation Night. This is your night. Let's bring out your buddies. Out comes Rowan, out comes Ryback, out comes Ziggler. Of course, all have been beat down. We both lost matches tonight. So they're all a little upset, to say the least. And uh, Stephanie and Triple H talk to each other, wondering if they should suspend them, you know, for going against the authority in the first place. They say no, that'd be, you know, that's not good enough. So they go to the ramp and say that both Rowan... Ryback and Ziggler are all fired. And there you have the 4th of July-esque music going in the background. I kid you not, you can't make this shit up. This is actually what happened. Freaking balloons and confetti starts coming down uh, in the arena. And Cena, not Cena, freaking Triple H and Symphony are making out. And yeah, you'd think it would be more upset. It makes sense that maybe at least Ryback, Rowan, and Ziggler would be yelling at Cena for costing them their jobs or even beat up on them, but no, that would make too much sense. So let's just have them walk away in pity and Cena just standing there all confused like. Ugh. 
This was bad. Not a good way to start the new year, though. Not a way to get started the new year, because Impact Wrestling is coming this Wednesday on Destination America, brother. Can't believe I'm going to be tuning into that. Oh, good lord. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, comment down below. Follow me if you have not. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. That link will be down in the description box. And please, God, let it be a good run next week. Later.